सो वेलकम फॉर टूडेज क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक चैप्टर दैट इज आई विल बी सॉल्विंग चैप्टर एट एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टूडे दैट इज इफ साइन ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन फोर कैलकुलेट कॉस ए एंड टेन ए ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट सो टेक डाउन टूडे इज क्वेश्चन इफ साइन ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन फोर कैलकुलेट कॉस ए एंड टेन ए so basically what we know is over here that sin a sin a is equal to 3 upon 4 sin a means opposite upon hypotenuse now opposite of a is bc so opposite side is 3 okay so take down this so this is nothing but bc upon ac ac is the AC is your hypotenuse. Okay, so this will be equal to three upon four. Okay, first we actually write it as three and four. Okay, then we take this BC to be three k. So you can write down let BC is equal to three k and AC is equal to four k. Okay, I take this uh, BC to be three k and AC to be four k. So I have written it as it is. BC is equal to three k and AC is equal to four k. Okay, now I will be applying by Pythagoras theorem. Okay, I will be using Pythagoras theorem now. So write down by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. First, you write down. Uh, we are applying this triangle for ABC, right? So AC square, you can write down AC square is equal to AB square plus BC the whole square. Okay, so I have taken a triangle over here, ABC. First of all, and B is. Ninety uh, degree and BC is three k and this is four k because opposite upon adjacent it is opposite of A is nothing but BC that that's why it's three k and op hypo hypotenuse we know that AC is hypotenuse and four k so we have taken this first step I hope you have understood now if we are applying a uh, Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse comes first. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So that's what I've written it over here. Now, uh, AC square. Do we know what is the AC square? Yes, we know. Four K square. You can take down. Write down four K square is equal to. So we have to write down four K square is equal to. Now what is AB? Is AB given over here? No, we need to find out. So I write it as it is. AB square as it is. Plus, do we know BC? Yes, we know BC. Three K. So write down three K square. So basically, we are squaring this. So this will become sixteen K square is equal to AB square plus nine K square. So we have to square this. So four square is sixteen k square. Write it as it is. Is equal to ab square. Write it as it is. Plus three square is nine and k square. So now what we need to do is k sixteen uh, k square. This term will go here. So it will become minus nine k square. So you can directly write down. Therefore, okay, a. What I have to write down ab square is equal to sixteen uh, k square. Minus nine k square, so AB square is equal to subtract this. Sixteen minus nine will give you all seven k square. If you take a square root, okay, you will get AB is equal to. This is uh, taking square root. Okay, just take a square root. Uh, you will get root. Seven and then k. Okay, the root is only for seven because if you apply root for this, it will get cancelled and you will get k. So a b is equal to root seven k. Now it's easy for us to find out. 
so we need to find out cos a and tan a right we need to find cos a and tan a so first i will find out cos a so basically what is cos a cos a is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse now what is adjacent of cos a so adjacent of cos a is nothing but ab so ab upon ac hypotenuse so ab upon ac you all can write down ab upon ac which is equal to you all can take down root 7 ab is root 7 7k we got right root 7k upon what is ac ac is nothing but 4k so you can write down 4k here kk will get cancel you are left with root 7 upon 4 so cos a is equal to nothing but you can write down cos a is equal to nothing but root 7 upon 4 Okay, now let us find out tan a. Now, what is tan a? Tan a is nothing but opposite side upon adjacent. Now, what is opposite uh, uh, side of a? Opposite side of a is what? Opposite side of a is BC. So, BC is nothing but three k. So, I'll write down BC upon. Okay, now this is nothing but three k, right? Now let us find out adjacent side of A. Adjacent side of A is AB. So AB is nothing but what we got is root seven k. So this is nothing but AB, and this is nothing but no is don't put this is equal to sign. This is nothing but root seven. Okay, so obviously K K will get cancelled, and you are left with tan A is equal to three upon root seven. Okay, so therefore we got cos A is equal to root seven upon four, and tan A to be three upon root seven. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to solve this, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel, and share with your friends. Press the bell icon for more updates.